Conservative leadership race federally is not the only race we're keeping an eye on. We're just over a week into the Ontario provincial election. There's already one leaders debate under the belt, one that was held on northern issues on Tuesday. Another one is slated for this Monday. Debates, of course, not the only way parties try to garner votes. Today, the Green Party unveiled a fully costed platform to try to increase their seat count to more than just one. It focuses on six key priorities, including homes, not highways, mental health, a new climate policy, and more. Some of the highlights include a plan to build a million and a half homes, a budget to reach net zero by 2045. That's five years earlier than the federal government. A new multi-home speculation tax and a vacant homes tax include mental health care under OHIP, Ontario's health insurance plan. Cut transit fares in half for three months. Uh, the Liberals are promising a buck a ride for two years on that, by the way. And designate the chief medical health officer as an independent officer of the legislature. Will this give the Greens the edge? Let's find out. Ontario Green Party leader Mike Schreiner joins us. Mr. Schreiner, uh, we spoke on radio, so good to have you back today. Um, what is your defining issue, the key ballot box issue for voters in Ontario? Well, I mean, our plan delivers new solutions to old problems, especially when it comes to addressing the climate emergency in a way that addresses people's cost of living concerns, especially in the housing market. I mean, under Doug Ford, the housing market has become completely unaffordable, and that's why we need to ha clamp down on rampant speculation in the housing market because homes should be for people, not speculators. And it's exactly why we need to change zoning rules so we can ramp up the supply of housing through gentle density and do pre-zoning along transit and arterial road corridors to build the missing middle. So people have more choice in their housing and they can live in communities where they don't have to be a part of these soul crushing, expensive, long commutes that also ramp up climate pollution. So all, and I understand that I've read your platform, but the Liberals, the Progressive Conservatives, the NDP, they all want to build the same number of homes as the Greens, 1.5 million homes. They all have a, you want to bring in a multi-home speculation tax of up to 30% and a vacant home tax. The Liberals, the NDP have a speculation tax. The Liberals are going to charge non-Canadian owners 5% of an empty homes. Uh, the PC has expanded their non-residential spe speculation tax on foreign buyers, hiking it to 20%. The NDP has got a vacancy tax of 2%. Like you've all got the same stuff. What differentiates you? Well, Evan, when it comes to housing, we're the only ones saying that if you buy more than three homes, you will pay a tax equivalent to the non-resident speculation tax. We have to stop these corporations and wealthy speculators from buying up housing stock because we need first-time home buyers to have a level playing field. We've also put out a plan to end blind bidding to require home inspections so first-time home buyers you know, have a level playing field and um, we can ensure that homes are for people, not speculators. And quite frankly, Evan, I think the issue that concerns me the most in this election is that we have to address the climate emergency. It is now or never. We have a plan to electrify transportation, to help people save money by getting big oil out of their wallets, a plan to retrofit 40% of our homes by the end of this decade, 100% by the end of the next de decade, so people can save money by saving energy while creating 52,000 jobs. Let's address the climate emergency while making Ontario a global leader in the new climate economy right. and stopping Doug Ford from paving over our children's future. Yeah, I know you want to stop a major highway uh, that he wants to build, but let's just talk about that. One way to save, cut greenhouse gases is to cut cars through transit fares. The Greens want to cut transit fares in half for three months. The Ontario Liberals are promising a buck a ride for two years. They've costed it. They said the second year it would cost a billion, $1.1 billion. Why only three months? You're cutting transit fares to two bucks. They're cutting them to a buck. Well, Evan, it's because... If we want to uh, triple transit use by the end of the decade, which is what the Ontario Greens plan will deliver, we have to make sure we expand service and have that service be reliable and affordable. We know that one of the barriers to people taking more transit is the lack of reliable service. So the Ontario Greens are committed to rolling out transit projects from a rail perspective, 
but also we would get thousands of electric buses on the roads now. That's the fastest way we can ramp up transit service so it's reliable and affordable. I just want to tell people this is a costed platform. You're hoping to recoup revenues uh, with deficit spending, but you want to also increase corporate tax by 2% over four years for large companies and bring in a wealth tax. Not a plan to get to a deficit, but neither do the PCs or the NDP and the Liberals' plan to uh, finally balance the books is contingent upon promises. So nobody's really uh, religious on that. Uh, Mike Schreiner for the Ontario Green Party. Uh, good to have you. By the way, what just I got like two seconds. You have one seat. What's your target goal, Mr. Schreiner, this, this time around? You know what? I want to bring more Green MPPs to Queen's Park. We need people like Diane Sachs and University Rosedale, Matt Richter and Perry Salmaskoka and others to join me at Queen's Park. All right, maybe two, three, uh, triple. That's a triple number. Ontario Green Party leader Mike Schreiner. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Evan.